Hey guys, this is Harriman Animations again, and today I'm going to show you how to make a downloadable file on your website. Alright, what we have so far is a logo which links you to my YouTube channel. And many people like to add downloads so their users can download content on their site. So what I like to do is I like to go to the um, root folder that we made, the website folder, and make a new folder inside of it and name it Downloads. You don't want to put in images in this because it all gets mixed up and it gets really complicated. So let's go ahead and make a file. I'm going to make a simple text file and I'm going to double click here, you know, because it creates a new one. I'm going to go ahead and click File, Save As, go to my Downloads folder, name it as Text, and click Enter. It's text.txt, and inside of my text folder, I'm going to write this is what you downloaded. Thank you. We'll go ahead and save that. And as you can see, it is saved in the downloads folder. And we're going to go to our file itself. Nothing's here so far, you know, you don't see any download links. And I'm going to go into the index folder. I'm going to put BR, which is break, line break. I'm going to do it again. And then right here is where I'm going to enter my file. Doing the file is like the same thing as making a link. You're going to do A, H, whoops, sorry, A, H, R, E, F, equal sign. And then instead of putting HTTP or, you know, a file destination or a link destination, you're going to put downloads slash text.txt. If you made like a zip folder, it would be downloads slash blah 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 dot zip. And we're going to close it. And what you're going to do here is you're going to put the text you want, like click here to download. And then I'm going to do slash A to close it. And if I click save and go to my website, as you see, it says click here to download. I know it's hard to see. If I scroll over like that, maybe you can see it a little bit better. It's because the blue blends in with the blue link. I'm going to go ahead and click it, and it brings me to this download. If it's a zip folder, it'll come down in here, the download, where they can extract it. But since it's not a download, and you don't need to, you're going to go ahead and just click it, and it links you. But let's go ahead and make a zip, and I'll show you how it's different. We're going to go into our downloads folder itself, and then we're going to make something, and go into winrar.zip archive. And I'm going to name it text one. And I'm going to put my text file inside that. If you double click in there, it comes up with text. Sorry about that. And now if we go back into our text file itself, and we put one after text, and put zip, I believe is what it is, unless it's rar. I'm going to put zip and test that out. And click save and go backwards onto our index file and click here. See, as you can see, it went down the text one dot zip. When we open it, it opens text. And there it is. This is what you downloaded. Thank you. And I'm glad I could show you that it worked like that. And thanks for watching and please subscribe and stay tuned for more.